All right, this is an urgent call to the church. Hopefully I have your attention. I've seen today how this post on Taylor Swift and several other things have gone, have gotten out there quite a ways. And I thought I would clarify a few simple things. Hopefully this will help you guys today. Number one, we are living in a spiritual war. Like why bring this up? Why talk about music? Why talk about the spiritual atmosphere of your home, your car, your your kids' rooms? Why? Because it's a big deal because we're living in a spiritual war. Now, you know, I don't gain anything by speaking out on this. I just get a lot of smoke from the Swifties and all the other crazy people out there that idolize this woman. Uh, but the truth is like, read the lyrics for yourself. Like she's saying, I mean, it's like right in front of you. It's right, It's there's nothing hidden. And uh, that's pretty much all I did was just post the lyrics and people can't believe it. And that's what she's singing and that's what your kids are hearing and that's what's being played on the radio. And my encouragement to you as Christians, as people of God, like why? Like what's, what's, what's the need? I actually had a few moms that uh, sent in some testimonies about how like, you know, they didn't really have anything wrong listening to the music, but they thought, you know, let's just stop for a week, see if anything changes. It was crazy. They said, I had one mom that said her kids stopped having nightmares. Another mom said that the entire mood and the atmosphere around her child changed. Like I had another person say they just quit just to see what would happen. The, the spiritual atmosphere around their home began to change. So listen, my encouragement to you is we're in a spiritual war. Music, songs go to places uh, that sermons and other places can't go. You know, they, they bypass the mind, they bypass the intellect, they go to the heart. So remember, like you are stewarding an atmosphere, you're stewarding a climate. And I don't know about you, but I want my kids to have encounters with God, not nightmares brought in by a, a crazy, you know, woman that's a self-professed witch, you know, that's doing demonic things at her concerts. I don't, I don't have time for any of that and neither do you. Second thing, because we're living in a spiritual war, there's a rising hatred for the Jewish people. Like we are told in the Bible, this is gonna happen and it's happening right now. Like literally we're watching this unfold on university campuses all over the world. There is this animosity and hatred towards the Jewish people that we have not seen since really the Holocaust. And we're living in the confluence of this. And this is why we are choosing to take a stand this Thursday, we are rolling into New York City. Me and a bunch of friends, it's gonna be a ton of people. And we're rolling into New York City, just like we did during COVID, just like we did into Seattle during CHOP, just like we did in Portland during the riots. And we're bringing the presence of God, we're bringing prayer, we're bringing unity, we're gonna bring joy. It's going to be an amazing time. You don't wanna miss it. This Thursday night, 6.30 p.m., Columbia does not know what's coming. The church of Jesus Christ is about to show up and stand up for what's right, stand up for the nation of Israel and the Jewish brothers and sisters. Thirdly, I want to remind you this Wednesday night, we are having a Zoom call. This is going to be amazing. I want to invite all of you to join us. We are holding a, an incredible Zoom call this Wednesday night, so two days from now, where I'm gonna have leaders from the House of Prayer movement around the world, and we're gonna discuss where do we go from here when it comes to the topic of the House of Prayer. I know a lot of people uh, have been just thoroughly disturbed, destroyed, disheartened by what's taking place at IHOP, what's happened in the prayer movement, the abuse, all of the different things. We're gonna talk about where God is leading us, what is he saying from now, how does the prayer movement play a part in every person's life in the coming days and years, what God is speaking, what is he saying, it's gonna be a great time of hope. So you don't wanna miss it, that's gonna be this Wednesday night. Again, this Thursday night, we're rumbling in New York City, baby. Don't forget, this is a spiritual war. You're living in a spiritual war. So we don't wage war as the world does, right? Powers, principalities, we put on the full armor of God. And so listen, I wanna encourage you today. I know it's Monday, it's a kickoff to the week. I'm actually here, um, you know, it says in the Bible that Jesus <laughs> left the crowds and he walked up onto a mountain. This is my version of that in Orange County. This is the mountain uh, right beside my house. And uh, so I come up here to pray. I come up here to hear from God. And I want to encourage you, get away, man. Unplug 
from social media, as I'm on social media telling this, that's the irony. Um, unplug from the world, press into the heart of the Lord, turn on some worship music. Like, guys, I mean, this whole Taylor Swift thing is so ridiculous to me. Like, so many believers are trying to defend her. Don't defend her, she's not worth defending. Just turn on some worship, man. Get lost in the presence of God. Like, like it's not even, her album's not even good. The writing's not even good. The melodies are weak. I mean, just, just don't even deal with it. Seven explicit tracks on her album, hating on the church, hating on God. Just, we don't need any of that. Come on, man. Just tap into worship. God is speaking. He's moving. He wants to use you, all right? So, bless you guys. I hope this encourages you. I'm going to keep going on my walk. We'll see you Wednesday night for this amazing Zoom call. I can't wait for you guys to join us and we'll see you Thursday, New York City. Let's go, baby.